everyone. Today we are going to London for rooftop sauna at the South Bank Centre. So we're just going to jump on the train now. Uh, so come join us. South Bank, and um, we thought we'd go and try it. It's a 70 minute experience where you go and change and go and just sort of like 40 minutes, and then you've got some time to change and shower after. Um, we thought we're going to go and test it out. Apparently, it's supposed to be a sort of thing to finish as soon as possible, but I'm very skeptical about that, so we're just going to go and check it out. The real question is, why is this woman wearing? It looks the like mystery of the day. It looks like fishnet tights and a pair of trackies that button up on the side as she's unbuttoned them. That is the IMAX. I watched Harry Potter 7 part 1 in there at like 3 o'clock in the morning once with my friends. Dude, it's raining. Ooh, it's a London pub. Queen Elizabeth Hall is there. That's what we want. Yeah, so we're we on the are. left side. We're there. So we can just go that way. Yeah, so we go here, that way. Yeah. Finished rooftop sauna bar. There it is. There it is. Or late? Uh, well, what time is it that we needed to be there? Well, the thing starts up 2 30, they're not gonna let us in. Oh, okay, we're just really early. Well, let's go and see where it is first. refreshed, feeling great. It was a brilliant experience. So I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this when I get home uh, because it's starting to rain here and uh, it, as you can see it's very very murky. Just some thoughts now um, looking back. I know I had my doubts 
whether it would be you know an authentic Finnish sauna and all the rest of it fine obviously it wasn't an actual wood burn sauna um, it was electric but at the same time they actually created a really good atmosphere using that and you could actually throw water onto the stove which was amazing like that's something that you can't do in any of the saunas in the UK when you find saunas in like you know gyms or some public swimming pools might have one but you can't throw water it's all dry and stuff like what's that about for people who are Finnish they completely get this they're just like how can you even sit there with obviously you had to keep swimming suits on it was a mixed sauna so you didn't go in naked which is what normally Finnish people would do but you know you can let that pass and the brilliant thing was that you could then go outside just to get some fresh air and stuff during the session you just go outside onto the rooftop of the South Bank Centre you're just looking at people walking down the South Bank and you're looking over the river you're standing there in your swimming costume not feeling cold at all and then there's people walking around with you know proper puffer jackets and scarves and hats on and they look up at you going huh? During the session there's this actual Finnish guy called Pasi who came in and talked about the history of sauna, how sauna is such a big part of Finnish culture and about what he does as well. He lives in the UK and actually designs saunas, um, like proper Finnish saunas for establishments and does sort of health and safety advising regarding saunas in buildings and things like that. Uh, so that was really cool, you know, you didn't think that was actually a viable job in the UK, so that's brilliant. And he came in during the session, at the start of the session everyone gets into the sauna and he comes in there wearing, you know, full, full on clothes. He talked probably for about 15-20 minutes and there were people really struggling to stay in there because of course the temperatures are sort of between 80 and 100 degrees at least that's what the meter on the wall said so the people are going oh no I really need to get outside but I really want to hear what he has to say because it, it was really interesting I didn't know a lot of the things he explained but overall a brilliant brilliant experience however I do have to highlight that it's a sauna experience it's not oh you know what I'm gonna go there every week while it's on because tickets were like £25 so I was quite happy to spend it once but it's not like a regular thing that you can do so I'm now really just waiting for somebody to start up a sauna in either West London or Berkshire or Surrey or anywhere that's more accessible than um, the one at the Finnish church